Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Sunday, July 2nd, 2017 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I nurture myself to heal the world. And I want to remind you that everything that is happening today, everything that is coming up today is for your personal healing and is for your personal mastery process. So I've been talking about this for days, this Mars Pluto opposition. Now, the really good news is that this opposition actually happens early in the morning. Um, let's see, what time is it actually happening at? 5.02 a.m. Pacific time. So, early in the day thing. So, it doesn't mean we're, or it means we're not going to be like kind of sitting, like waiting for them to reach their their opposition. In fact, most of the astro, all of the astro transits are happening by 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time today. So, lots of early morning shifts. Now, this Mars-Pluto opposition is really tuning us into power. And like I said yesterday, there may be some power struggles. You may feel them outside of yourself, but even if you're feeling them outside of yourself, they are tuning you right back into yourself. This opposition is happening at 18 degrees. That is a nine. So it is attuning you to your inner fire. It's definitely attuning you to your root chakra energy. Why are you here? Can you ground in to why you're here? Can you ground into the, the, the fact that there is a purpose for you being here and like allow that to hold you? Can you just allow that simple fact to hold you? Now, as I'm sitting to do the horoscope, I have Pandora playing in the background and I play Thumbprint Radio, which has like all my different stations and my music genres span through everything. And the song, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, came up as I'm sitting here with the astro and I'm like, oh, that's that transit. That is Mars opposite Pluto. Everybody wants to know rule the world. Everybody has their way that they think is going to work in the world. Um, and everybody's way is the best way. And that's one of the things. Your way is the best way for you. Your job is to nurture yourself. Nurture yourself, heal the world. Tune into you. Tune into your mission. Find that harmony within yourself. Find that balance within yourself. Find the power within yourself instead of using and utilizing things outside of yourself for power. Now, we do have Chiron retrograde. We are in an 11 degree day. So healing is part of this process of coming into yourself, coming into your power. If you find yourself out of harmony, out of balance, look where you may be using things outside of yourself to reinforce your power instead of holding that space within. Look at this grounded energy. Look at this flowering, blooming card. She is sitting on this lotus, but it's like this strong, rooted energy, rooted into the earth, rooted into herself and her own purpose. That is going to be your focus today. That is going to be your motivation, your mission in and through this energy. Now, both Mars and Pluto, um, they co-rule Scorpio. And we actually have the moon shifting into Scorpio at like 10 a.m. Pacific time. So that power thing is going to be ongoing as the moon in Scorpio is going to tune us into it. And what you may find out, find coming up between, you know, the 11 degree energy, this connection, this moon in Scorpio, which is drawing us closer to the full moon, which is a week out, um, it's drawing us closer to the full moon and it's taking us into a grand trine in water for the next few days. So strong watery energy. You may find some of your wounds surfacing in and through, in and through this energy. If they do, <laughs> it's not too, it's not to suck your power away. It's to help realize where there's still healing for you to step into. It's it's for you to realize where you still may not be in complete harmony with yourself, in complete alignment with yourself, and where you may need to do some shifts with yourself. So show up for any of those things that may come up. Wounds do not make you a victim. Wounds make you somebody who's learned a lot of lessons. And there's nobody on this planet who hasn't had some level of trauma, some level of wounding that they've had to look at and face. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's something to be like, okay, what was this purpose? What's the good? What's the lesson? What's the joy? And how do I take this and hold myself 
in my full power in this. Everything today is for your healing. Everything for today is for your personal mastery. So there's a few other things that are happening as well as this Mars-Pluto opposition. That's the one I think you're going to feel the most. But at the same time, we actually have the moon opposite Uranus. So we have Mars opposite Pluto operating the Cancer Capricorn lines, um, which may feel a little bit uncomfortable. It may feel a little dishevely. <laughs> um, and then we have the moon in Libra, which so desperately wants the balance and is like, ah, why are you all throwing me off the balance? <laughs> um, but balance comes within. Nobody else is throwing you off, moon in Libra. Um, opposite Uranus. So we actually do have a grand uh, grand cardinal cross, but it's not exact. The moon and um, the moon and Uranus are 27, whereas Mars and Pluto are 18. So it's not exact, but still, yet there is this cross, and these foundational energies are being shook up and pulled and stretched in and through this. And Uranus is always doing the job that Uranus does, which brings that evolution revolution, which is taking us deeper and closer into our light, which takes us into this. But sometimes there's the shakeup. Two of my big agents of change, Pluto and Uranus, are activated today in and through this. So some things may be shook up good because some of these things that are shook up are these old things that you're holding on to which is not letting you come forward and find this harmony in and through yourself but what I have which I love is I actually have the laziness card which is means you're not done you never get it done <laughs> it doesn't happen getting it done doesn't happen but be easy be in the flow the universe is not punishing you everything today is for your healing and for your mastery please remember that because they have reminded me of that multiple times so you may feel this but like i said the good news is by 10 a.m the moon's shifting into scorpio and it's really going to be the feels that's really going to be the process not to say that those power struggles may not still be out there um that definitely may come up but the peak will have already hit and once the peak hits the energy starts to lessen so Whew, so yay for that. Moon in Scorpio, though, over the next couple days, like I said, is really bringing up the feels. Be willing to feel it now because that full moon is going to be a powerful full moon. It is going to be uh, connecting with Pluto. And so that's going to be a big energy for the full moon. Um, so any feels that can be processed now, like, hooray. The last thing I want to mention astro-wise is Jupiter has shifted to 14 degrees. Jupiter has been at 13 for like a million years. <laughs> That's what it feels like for a Sagittarius. Uh, <laughs> it's been at 13 degrees for about the last two months. And so now we have this shift to 14 degrees. So this, I believe, is helping us go deeper into finding this balance and this self-love and this harmony in and through this energy. So yay for this Jupiter shift that's happening among all of these other things, reminding us how to take back our power. So when I was shuffling the Yantra cards, I pulled, or this jumped out, Bindu, which is center. Find your center in and through this. This is where your power lies. The essence of all beings and all things is the same. Find peace of mind by focusing on the similarities rather than the differences today. So that may help you, especially with any of those power struggles. Where are you both seeking that power? And where are you both looking outside of yourselves instead of to the center for your power? The center. And I also have Saturn, organization. Take some time alone today. Be silent. Clear the clutter. Clear your mind. Saturn is the lesson. Show up for yourself. Be responsible for what is showing up in your life. That's where your power is in realizing your place in what's showing up in your life in this moment now. And how are you going to respond to it in a responsible way? <laughs> because it's up to you how you're going to respond. Now, I have some exciting news. So you may have seen that Nikki had her baby. She actually had her baby after the day that we recorded our last GPS. So for the next little bit, while Nikki and new baby Leela bond, I am going to be doing GPS with my friend, Maya Kana. I'm very excited. I love Maya. Um, she has been so helpful in my life, and I know she's going to bring a beautiful, high vibrational vibration to our GPSs this summer. And this is the final day of my sale, $44 for a 30-minute reading. So you can go purchase that now at GaiaBlooming.com. I'll have it up all the way through 
Sunday, and then on Monday, I'm taking that sale down. Um, so that is it for today. Everybody wants to rule the world, but your power comes from within, and everything today is for your healing and for your personal mastery. So remember that as we move along, swim along. Just keep swimming, little fishies, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.